Okay guys, what I wanted to do is I wanted to explain to you real quick how one of these light traps work. So um, very simply, this is very simply a 15 watt black light bulb and it's situated in the middle of these four veins, okay? And so the idea is when you connect it to the battery, the moth sees the light, flies at the light, hits one of the veins, and then it sits on top of a five gallon bucket. And the moth hits the vein, falls down, goes through the funnel and into the five gallon bucket. And inside the five gallon bucket, you have uh, some cans of ethyl acetate, which is your killing agent with a sponge wick. And it keeps the air inside of the five gallon bucket full of ethyl acetate gas and as soon as the insect comes in, it's only a matter of seconds and then it's, they're gone. So uh, that's the concept, uh, guys. And what I'm using is I'm using these little, uh, these little tiny batteries here, these 12 volt, I got a 20 amp hour AGM battery um, with my 15 watt black light. This lasts about 12 hours. So, um, you know, it gives you almost a full night of moth collecting. And so, you know, Check it out, guys. Here's where we go. When I plug these, these little alligator clips here, when I plug it in, black light goes on, moth flies at the vein, or flies at the light, hits the vein, falls down into the funnel, slides into the funnel, into the bucket that has the ethyl acetate gas, and the, the trap will collect the insect. Now, the problem is when we have... Um, like creating these, my, my buddy who, who I bought these traps from like 20 years ago, this is literally one of the wicks that I use in a tin, a little tin can that he used to house the ethyl acetate. And as you can see, the tin will rust over time. So what I did was I figured, let me try something a little different. I'm going to try mason jars. And so I bought a case of 12 of these mason jars. Now the trick is... I had to figure out how do I cut the lid, which is a little tiny thing of tin, uh, and get the wick inside. So this mason jar is literally ready to go, guys. And I'm gonna, you can fill this up with ethyl acetate, and uh, and what what will happen is ethyl acetate evaporates very very quickly. So over the course of the night, the ethyl acetate will wick up into this piece up here and will evaporate into the bottom of the bucket and it will wick slowly. And you probably will use a little bit more than half of this bottle. Uh, and I'll put two of these in every light trap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two bottles like this inside of every, every light trap in the bottom. And that will uh, be our killing agent for our moths. And so I'm going to make a bunch more of these, but all I did was guys, I bought, a bunch of these uh, dish sponges like this. And then the goal, the trick is, uh, I just gotta cut them. You see, I just cut little, little strips off. So I just gotta cut a little strip that will fit inside and then leave like a T at the top that will hang out outside of the uh, container so it doesn't completely go inside. And that goes all the way down to the bottom of this container and that should give us a full 12 hours worth of um, killing agent. We're going to put it to the test here, uh, here in, in a couple a couple nights. We'll let you know how it goes. But basically, I'm going to let me cut some of these up real quick for you. All right, I got a dozen of these little mason jars. And I already did it with one and it works. That's why I'm doing the video. Guys, what I'm doing is these are gonna be the jars that we put our ethyl acetate in. We're gonna use two of these per bucket light trap. And the thing we gotta do is we gotta cut, uh, these are um, aluminum lids, and we gotta cut into it, cut it like a groove to put our sponge in so that we can make a wick for the uh, jar. And there's probably a better tool to use than this, but I've got a grinder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind in a groove on the top of these lids and put a wick in. Here we go, guys. I'm going to get 
cut these sponges a little bit. Okay, cut the little T at the top, to keep it from uh, going inside of the, of the jar. Do the same thing on this side. Okay, we have our little sponge top. Okay, we've got our jar top that we've already cut. And guys, this is not pretty. I think it's probably a better tool to use than the grinder that I was using, but it's gonna work. So I'm my goal now is just to fit the sponge all the way down into here so that the top is sticking out and this reaches all the way down to the bottom so that it can wick up the ethyl acetate over the course of the night. So I'm gonna make, I've got four traps, so I'm gonna make eight of these, two for each bucket trap, and we will test them out in a few days and see how it works. We got one trap, the other one's down there on the photo cell. This one does not have a photo cell. And then I already hooked up this one down here. So you can see how it glows. I mean, it's not even dark yet. And it's starting to glow iridescent blue, fluorescent blue. But sun's gonna be going down here in the next half hour, so it's gonna start catching bugs. Here we go, guys. I'll see you in the morning, and I'll let you know how we do. All right, guys. This is the contents of our three traps. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of live beetles that must have came in late at night. And um, they don't, it doesn't help your moth situation, but not a lot of moths in, in light traps, guys. We got a few things like some of these um, heterocampa, cool one right there. Yellow and pink, almost missed him. Sweet. All right, guys. Ciao for now. Till next time. Let's get out there and find some cool bugs.